Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are out on the range with something kind of special. Um, I waited till this week to post it because, well, the poll didn't go in my favor, but it's too nice to not. I got my grandpa's model 88 Winchester. This thing has some stories to tell, I'm sure. I don't know them all, but it was handed down to me when he passed away. Um, I've already received some offers for it. It will not go anywhere. Uh, the only thing that I'm looking at doing with this that's any different than what it is right now is I might put a scope back on it if I can find one that will not make it look stupid. And then I also have full intention of putting a new stock on it. I'm probably gonna make it by hand. And that way I can put this stock on a shelf and then I can begin to use this gun for something other than a shelf ornament and range days. Um, this has been fired since I've owned it less times than my 6.5. Uh, don't even have to count the rounds on this one. And I know it's less than 40. So other than that, man, I'm just excited to be out here on the range with it. And I'm excited for the opportunity to bring something that not a lot of people have brought to the internet. Um, it's kind of a rare gun. It's a Winchester 88. We're gonna shoot paper just to kind of get an idea where the sights are. I'm going to probably shoot just kind of close right now. I'll take it out to 100 yards for you guys, just so you can hear it smack some steel. I'm shooting iron sights, so we're just going to have a little fun today. All it's about is a little bit of connection with my roots and where I came from. So I'm going to set up my target and we'll fling some lead. All right, so if you guys saw my video on the RPRR splitting 22, or splitting cards with a 22, or trying to, um... <laughs> I'm not too excited to use this right now. Uh, it's 100 grain, power shock, jacketed soft points. They're not perfect. I'm not shooting distance though. Uh, we're having some fun with a, with my grandpa's gun. So this is the ammo we're running today. Um, that's their label. And then muzzle velocity is going to be 2,900 feet a second, which is outrageous. I don't think I'm actually going to shoot this at my steel plate inside of 100 yards ever. Uh, it's rated for 3,000 feet a second, but that's cutting it close, and with variations, I'm good. So, anyway, we're going to load up my magazine, which this is the magazine. It holds five rounds. I'm going to load it up, get ears on, and go put some rounds on the target, um, and we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. All right, this time we're going to hold dead center. I'm going to back off about 20 paces and just kind of get an idea where we're going to have to hold. So, red bullseye dead center is what I'm aiming at. We'll see where it groups, and then that'll tell me what to do when we're shooting other fun targets here and there. That's fun. I was trying to figure out how I kept missing that. Turns out I just kept hitting the cap. So from where I shot just now, I have to aim quite a significant amount lower. <laughs> uh, cool, so hitting pretty high at that distance. Um, that's good to know. We'll go give it a go again and see what we get. Man, sometimes I hate iPhones. Um, I smoked all three of those. Walked off because it was recording and the dang thing overheated. So we're gonna have to give it a minute to cool off. And I'll come back and we'll do that part of it again. I've got two, two liters. iPhones suck, man. Uh, phone overheated, so got to wait for it to cool off 
so that I can reshoot those, except I can't. So those three are gone for no good reason. Smoked all three of them. It was glorious. It was going to be a great slow-mo for you guys. Thank goodness I have two left. <sighs> two. I was going to try to do something cool with them. Now we got to decide between the two options. All right. I'm hopeful I got my phone cooled down enough. We're going to blast one more two liter. I had five and three of them got blasted while my phone was overheating. And then I've got a few more rounds and uh, we'll, we'll have some fun with them. I don't know what we're going to shoot yet, but it'll be fun. All right, I'm shooting right over the top of the camera here. So we're probably going to get a little messy. But that's going to be okay. That's it. There we go. Last thing I'm going to try, I've got one round left for the 243 at close quarters uh, before I take it out to 100 yards, which may have to happen on a different day. We're going to see if I can split a card with it. Uh, these are a little bit closer than the last time, but I'm going to give it a go. See what we can get. There's a shot. There's a split. You may or may not believe me, but that was the first try. First try. King of Hearts, split it with a 22. I'd say that's a success. Uh, sorry, no, it was a 22. It was my 243. Gosh, I was so excited, so excited on that. It was the first try on that, and there we are. All right, now I've got perhaps the coolest thing I've ever accidentally done. Um, I don't know how to describe this. I shot the soda with the 243, and this jacket, I think, separated from the lead. It's still pretty hot. Uh, and went into my target. That happened by chance. I mean, a little love to pretend I did it on purpose, but yeah. I don't see one anywhere else on the board. I don't know where the lead's at. But I do know that that's pretty freaking cool. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, lead just kind of probably flattened out pretty bad with the... Dang, keep dropping this thing. With the uh, liquid it hit and the jacket definitely expanded. But we'll get into this gun a little more later on. Take it out to 100 yards, have a little fun with it there. I'll show you all some of the carnage real quick. 243 is certainly not a joke. Um, as you can see there, this one I think we just barely nicked. That one exploded entirely. The mountain lightning that we just shot, that's where the jacket in my hand came from. And that cola just got hit a little bit ago too. So yeah, point is, 243 is a nasty round. I would not want to stand in front of one on.